Hey there friends, what's going on? This is David Potts with Song Notes and a quick video where I want to share two easier ways to play the B minor chord. These are both going to be open voicings, no barring required, no crazy stretches required. So if you're not able to play the B minor chord as it's typically played, or if you can play it like I can, but I just don't feel like a lot of the time switching to that barred position. So these two voicings, uh, I'll show them to you right now, are going to be great alternatives for you. And I'll have an exercise showing you how to put each of these into action. It's part of the PDF that's attached to this post on my Patreon page. The link is in the description of this video. Check that out if you want to follow along. But let's dive on into these and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the first one, it's going to be a B minor 7 effectively, right? Now B minor is like this, B minor 7 is like that. But this open version of B minor 7 is like that. It's going to be second, open, second, open, second. Starting on the fifth string. Now you can either use your index, middle, ring fingers, as I'm doing here, or you can use your middle, ring, pinky fingers. And a helpful way to think about this chord is it's just like a B7. This is a major chord with that dominant seventh added, right? But you're not gonna have the fourth string fretted. So it's gonna be an open fourth string. Okay, so what that is, it turns it into a B minor 7. Now, let me show you a circumstance where this is helpful. And I actually have to give props and thanks to my Patreon supporter, John, for sending this in. Uh, John, thank you very much. So I had just posted a lesson teaching the Neil Young song, Harvest. And in that song, there's this tricky bit where you're going from a G to an A to a B minor to an E. And you have to do it pretty quickly with this sort of bass note strumming, so you don't have a lot of time to make the transition. Now, I have a whole separate video, not only teaching that song, but I have another video just looking at that transition and talking about, you know, using A with one finger barred and different tips to get to this B minor voicing. But I like John's tip because it sort of makes it even easier. And let me show you this exercise to show you what I mean. So in this exercise I have here, we're going to go from a D to a D sus2 with an A bass note. And you sort of stay on this for a while and get into a groove, right? Bass, down, up, bass, down, up. And when we're, when we're good with this, and we want to move on, we're going to go into the gauntlet, okay? Four chords. G, A, B minor, E. Then back to the D, smooth sailing. Hang on this D for a bit, and then you can do it again. This is a great little practice routine, nice and circular thing, right? Let me do it slow here. So for this G, I'm gonna do the bass note third string, and then strum the thinnest three or four strings. Then you do the A bass note, strum the thinnest four strings. Now instead of going to this B minor, which would be the pain in the next stretch I was talking about, what we're gonna do is just do the second fret on the, se on the fifth string, and then put these two fingers down on the other second fret notes. And then for the E, open E string, and we do the, the down up, okay? So that whole four chord gauntlet area would be bass, down, up, bass, down, up, bass, down, up, bass, down, up. Then pull out of it and go back to the D. The D is a nice little reset. Minimal movement with your left hand, but it sets you up to practice for it again. Great little exercise showing that chord in a practical use case. The other one I want to talk about is Tennessee Whiskey by Chris Stapleton. Now, I have a whole separate lesson. I actually have many lessons on that song, but that song only uses two chords. It uses A and B minor for the whole song. You're as smooth as Tennessee Whiskey. You're as sweet as strawberry wine. But what we can do is use this voicing again, right? You're as smooth as Tennessee Whiskey. You're as sweet as strawberry wine. And you even can do the alternating bass notes that I do in my lesson, right? Right, so fifth string to sixth string. This is on the A to the B minor. Second fret on the fifth string, second fret on the sixth string. You're smooth. As Tennessee whiskey, you're sweet. I can't sing like him. I mean, you know, but you get the idea. 
Okay. But if you want to learn that song, check out my website, playsongnotes.com. You can find the link and just sub in this B minor for the one that I teach in that lesson. It'll work just fine. It's a great little hack if you want to avoid this regular voicing. Now, the other voicing I want to show you is this one that looks like this. Or if you just do the middle four strings, okay, compare that to a regular B minor. This is regular B minor. This is this new voicing. Now you can leave the thinnest string open if you want to. That's going to depend on context of what you're playing. Sometimes it won't always sound good. But basically, let's look at a situation where this is going to be uh, useful. Now, the inspiration here is going to be A Pirate Looks at 40 by Jimmy Buffett. Now, this is not the full tab. This is sort of inspired by it. But let's check this out. It's a finger style arrangement. And notice I'm going to go from G to C over G and back to G. I'm going to do that twice in the first line. In the second line, what do we have here? We have an A minor 7. We're only going to be on those middle four strings. Then we have to go to a B minor and back to the A minor and back to the G. Now, when I'm playing that song by Jimmy Buffett, I don't like going up to that B minor shape and then going back to the open shape. So this is a perfect voicing for that scenario. Let's see how this whole thing sounds. I'll, I'll play it finger style. the B minor, A minor 7, back to the G. Okay, now if we were singing this song with Jimmy Buffett, we would need to add another couple measures here of C, but basically it's Mother, Mother Ocean, I have heard you call. Now this part's not in my tab, but you would just go to C for three measures. I've wanted to sail upon your water. I was three feet. Then back to G for one measure. Tall. Now the last line is similar. You've seen it all. A minor. You've seen it all. Let's do that last line again, right? You've seen it. A minor. B minor to A minor to G. So this is a great little exercise. It uses finger style. And notice how in this tab here, I'm never playing the thinnest string. I am at the, end, at the very end with this G bass note or this G treble note once. But for the most part, I'm staying on the second, third, and fourth strings if you ignore the bass notes. And what that does is it creates this nice sort of swell with the G and the C over G, okay? And then we go to the A minor seven. It creates this nice opportunity for the B minor to second fret on the second string becomes the highest note we go back to the a minor seven and then back to the g okay so it's sort of like walking up a hill so this is a great little exercise to practice uh, i don't think using the open string version of this chord in this particular circumstance works great but you could strum it as well here's what strumming it would sound like g c over g back to g g c over g back to g second line a minor 7, B minor, A minor, back to G. One more time. A minor 7, B minor, A minor 7, back to G. Notice how minimal movement that required. I'm just sort of staying here. I'm not having to do this. And again, it's not the end of the world, assuming you can play the B minor seven. It's not the end of the world to have to do this, but sometimes I just don't feel like doing it. And this voicing, or this other voicing I showed you, they just add a nice little bit of distinction to the sound, right? Now, a few quick notes. These chords will not always work whenever you need a B minor, especially if you're playing a song that's in the key of B minor. And the giveaway for that is if the song starts with the chord B minor. I was a highwayman. Along the coach roads I did ride. That's an example where either of these chords is, I was a highwayman. It doesn't really work because you have the open E string there. Um, and this first one, I was a highwayman. I guess it could work, but it's kind of has that seventh voicing. 
And a seventh voicing is usually not what you're going to add to your your root chord, right? If you're in the key of B minor, you want the B minor itself to stand strong, right? You're going to add the seventh tone to other chords in the chord progression, right? So certain songs, it's not always going to work. But try either of these out, right? If you need that second fret note on the high E string, use this version, this first version I showed you. And it works well for that exercise I showed you. Let's hear it one more time. That last two chords, right? That's a really distinctive part of that whole progression. So in that case, that particular B minor works well. Whereas in this other case with uh, the Jimmy Buffett example, or the similar to Jimmy Buffett example, we're going from this A. That nice transition from the A minor seven to the, from the G to the A minor seven to the B minor and back down. It's a nice pocket of chords and we're all using that second string for our highest note. So that's when you're gonna to wanna to use that one. But I hope these are helpful for you. And the great thing about guitar is there's always new stuff to learn. I've been playing for 20 years and I've never used either of these two voicings when in thinking about B minor. And I love uh, the feedback I get from y'all over on my Patreon page. Thank you very much. I, I really love all the comments and the discussion and the, the cool um, nuggets and tidbits that come in when I post new lessons there and all the patrons are, are commenting because it's things like this that help me but helps everyone else reading those comments and hopefully you reading this video watching this video, uh, learning this as well. So I hope this is helpful for you. Thanks for watching, y'all. And I'll see you on the other one. Check out my website if you want to see my lessons for Harvest, for um, Tennessee Whiskey. And I have a Pirate Looks at 40 coming out any day now by Jimmy Buffett. So thanks a lot, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye-bye, my friends.